In Ask the Bible Season 2, our guests, be it Malaysian students or staff from IVS East Asia, are still given one passage on the spot. Then they are given 10 minutes to read and write down their questions and their comments or thoughts on that passage. At the end of 10 minutes, they are given only 5 minutes to share with us what they have written. We hope that as in Season 1, this series will continue to encourage you to pause and ask questions when you read the Bible. Reynaldi has been with Perkantas for the past seven and a half years. Uh, Reynaldi joined Perkantas uh, right after graduation and is based in Jakarta. Uh, you mentioned the challenges facing staff in helping students to engage the Bible. Students complain that Bible discussion is boring, not related to their own daily lives and more of a one-way explanation from the leader. However, when the students are asked to discuss or give their opinion, they won't do it either. But you have a suggestion to this. Yeah, I think uh, we need to, you know, make better discussion and also asking better questions because uh, we want the students, we want to help them to dive into the scripture in a way that, you know, that is not awkward or too pushy for them because sometimes they reluctant to answer. So I think that's that's one of the main issues that we need to think about. And you also brought up another interesting point that it's we need to respond to the change in how students learn. They are accustomed to short points or summary, short quotes, more visual and audio material around them. So it's a challenge when we ask them to read scripture routinely, patiently, imaginatively and meditatively. Thank you for sharing with us uh, some of the things that uh, you guys face. The passage that I that is given to you, Isaiah 26, you have 10 minutes from now. In my first reading, I think I imagine Isaiah 26 is like a, you know, a, a victorious and glorious song that uh, the people are waiting to, you know, to feel the excitement, the, the joy, the freedom. It's like a kingdom movie with trumpet and banner and people cheering, yeah, something like that. Okay. That's the overall sense that uh, I read. In the first sections, I think it's about uh, a praising and also a call to trust in the Lord mm -hmm. but uh, the people are still in in different condition okay uh, they are longing for justice longing for God to make right everything that has been done and also want to to make known God to other nations around so I think it's also about how the remnants, they hope, they pray to God that everyone can see the glory and also the power, the wisdom of the Lord Yahweh who keeps Israel and who keeps Judah until the end. What kind of hope or feeling that the people felt? Because what they see in daily life is other gods or oppressed people, you know, uh, the wicked. How can the hope of God help them to keep their zeal? They can keep their devotion to God, not become broken-hearted or leaving God. Which, which is very practical for us. I mean, how do we keep this hope now in view of what we see around us? And how did they feel then? And how do we feel now? I mean, we know how we feel now. Yeah. Um, and how did they feel then? What kept them alive? Yeah, because sometimes uh, even I or some of my students thinking Christianity or the Word of God is like an abstract or, you know, a theory for the future. But how can this okay. affect our daily life now? Okay, yeah. Which is a very um, good question because if God doesn't affect our daily life now, why should I be concerned about God? In verse 18, in a sense, I think... Israel knows what their calling is, is to draw salvation to the earth, but 
how do they wrestle it with the condition around them? It's it's an agony for them. I think it's irony for them. You know, uh, they know their calling, but in a sense they were uh, distracted and in a bad condition. How do they keep their the conviction to 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 become a salvation for the whole? Hmm. Uh, you started off with a a picture of a film, a drama, right? An epic yeah. drama. How would you title this movie that you're going to shoot, Isaiah 26? The final song. <laughs> the final song. Ah, yeah. thank you. Ask questions when you read the Bible. So let's engage scripture today.